Dragon's Dogma is a massive, dark and twisting journey inside its own magical world filled to the brim with adventures, friendships and betrayals. The story follows the typical RPG fantasy tropes with you taking the role of the chosen one, in this case a dragon steals your heart and your purpose is to get it back. Slowly from there the story unravels itself and grits us to the world of dragon's dogma till we reach the bitter end which in fact isn't precisely the end. Often enough you'll have to make choices that will affect the way the story grows while at the same time there is a choice of visiting Bitter Black Island, way more dark environment with its own more obscure story. Yet on the down factors the story isn't that important aside from the beginning and the ending of the game. <coughs> Everything else in between feels like a side quest, f just with cutscenes, and rarely contributes to the total story of the game. On the gameplay, Dragon's Dogma offers a great variety of choices, with the choice of vocation usually known as class. The magician, for example, can do spells of cataclysmic effect, while an archer can rapidly fire multiple arrows, and a knight can way easier climb the back of a huge beast. Though the depth of the character creation doesn't exactly in there because soon in the game you unlock the ability of some sub vocation which give even more variety to the playstyle and an incentive to play the game again. At the same time in the game there is a strong feeling of survival with the big need of the player to rest, consume potions very often especially anti-poison and anti-petrification and anti-darkness <clears throat> and food which having it a long time in your inventory makes it mold and rot and slowly instead of helping you you're doing quite the opposite <sighs> the battle is highly enjoyable and in combination with the emphasis on exploration are the two best ingredients of Dragon's Dogma. An addition that Dragon's Dogma does to the RPG formula you're used to is that of the ability of the player to climb masters and monsters and hit them from a variety of corners. Furthermore, the player will never feel alone with the pawn system which allows you to create your own pawn that will forever be with you at your journey and also the ability to hire two additional pawns that other players will have built. It's a fact though that pawns aren't always as helpful or smart and often find obstacles, especially in harder points, and will not help the player properly. Uh, on the downside in the combat, uh, the lock-on when using ranged weapons or even close quarters weapons might uh, stuck and focus on a specific uh, enemy and that few seconds of changing between enemies might even cost your life. The world of Dragon's Dogma is rich and filled to the brim with danger, places to be explored, fields to be crossed, caves to be lit and mountains to be climbed upon. The map unravels alongside the player because in a place where the player hasn't been, the map is locked. There are missing, unfortunately, weather effects of rain or snow. When night falls, Ingram Sordan, and the darkness spreads, surviving and exploring gets tougher in the absence of light. Lanterns can help the player, but he is not recommended to venture forth if he's afraid of a challenge or a sudden death, and death does mean a lot in Dragon's Dogma. Dying means you wake up having lost any progress you've made from the last rest point or the last save point which is very rare to have one and it's usually when dealing, uh, killing great boss after a great battle or entering cave or leaving it or a temple or a castle or any other enterable location. 
In terms of side quests, Dragon's Dogma offers the classical fetch quests and the classical Monster Hunters quest, and at the same time has some side quests that have a great depth to it with a great plot and storyline for the player to follow and make his choices and meet and great new characters. The great big cities and the world in general all have a reason to be explored at the biggest uh, quantity possible where every corner hides a chest. It would be nice to have a few more varieties of Master in Grand Soren, but there is no complaint to be made about the creatures at Bitter Black Island. I recommend this game to anyone who loves RPGs. Thank you.